About 8.20 a.m. this morning, EMS responded to Aaron Woods Boulevard uh, at a crosswalk at Aaron Woods Place for reports a pedestrian had been struck by a vehicle. On arrival, EMS determined a male believed to be in his late teens or early 20s had died at the scene as a result of this collision. Uh, we have a 30-year-old female, approximately, uh, who was obviously quite traumatized by what took place very early on in the investigation as far as uh, uh, interviewing her and determining if there are any other factors in, involved in this collision. But I said, is there anything to do? And she said, and she was holding his head. And then I, I told her not to turn it, and she turned it, and that's when he stopped gasping for air. It's just... It's just uh heart-wrenching enough just to come up on it, something like that, right? And, you know, whoever caused it, you know, they've got to live, live with that, right? I'm just, I'm sickened. I'm just sickened. This is absolutely, they got to do something about this thing. I this is not the first person that's been mowed down here. This is the first person that's been killed. But it's not the first person that's been mowed down on this road in the last five years. Speed at this time doesn't appear to be a factor in the collision. At this point in time, the challenge we're facing is ascertaining his actual position in relation to the crosswalk, whether the sun angle had any kind of uh, impact on this incident, uh, whether it affected the visibility that the driver would have had. That's why you have to take extra caution when you're traveling in any direction in relation to the sun, the sun angle, whether use of sunglasses, a sun visor, slowing down, even stopping in certain cases. You have to take that extra precaution, especially in the vicinity of any kind of intersection where there's a crosswalk.